as we draw closer to this presidential election, we have to be very mindful of the energies around us because you know a lot of rituals go on before this election. They already started the rituals with, you know, with SM. If y'all don't know what SM is, y'all know what SM is. Because they did it before with SB. Y'all know who SB is. I put it on the screen. I put both SM and SB on the screen after I'm done editing, but y'all know what they do right before this ele before elections. It's emotional rage bait. And they know the more emotional that we get, the more that we come out to vote. So you have to understand that there's gonna be tons and tons of stories that come out about us and, and very unfortunate situations mostly unaliving situations and that's just the truth they're gonna put in the media they're going to put it all over social media the news media they're gonna put it everywhere so us as a people people of the book people of the book will get emotionally riled up and they're hoping that will spill over into our real lives and and hopefully they can cause some Social disturbance is what I just heard. Civil disturbance. I don't want to say the W word, but civil. And um, yeah, so you just have to be mindful of the energies around because people are people are unhinged. <laughs> people are especially unhinged around election time, and they will continue to be unhinged and act in ways that they're taking out their anger on anyone they see on the street, especially if it's someone you know who doesn't like people of the book. I'm gonna keep saying that. <laughs> Especially if they don't like people of the book. They will find you, they will harass you, they will microaggression you just so you can get out of, out of line, just so you can get out of pocket. So they can have a reason to be like, well, see, they did that and that's why I'm acting this way. So just be mindful around this time about people doing, saying things, acting a certain way just to get you uncomfortable, just to get you out of your out of your character, out of your, off your off your square, so to speak. Just be mindful of the things that people will do and say and act and their behavior. Because more people watch you than not. You don't even have to be a content creator. This is anyone. People watch you. If you have a certain thing about you, you move a certain way, even if, even if you're attractive, if you speak well, if you have a light about you, and even if, this is the most part, if you stay to yourself, People will find a way to be like, to come in your personal space, to come bother you, to try to bait you into arguments, into physical fights, into any kind of confrontation that will further prove whatever the false media perspectives that they put out about us. So just be mindful, folks. Just be mindful around this time about people doing things purposely to try to pull you into the negative, negative, negative world. Stay in your own world. <laughs> yeah, stay in your own world. And try, try, try. This is for me too. Try to ignore, ignore, ignore. I see a lot of people doing it too, and I'm gonna end it right here. I see a lot of people now when they're confronted by, you know, Karens or, you know, people who have nasty Karen energy. I see a lot of people on the internet, they're ignoring them, not saying nothing. Just, they come up to them and they're saying, hey, can I talk to you? Nope, I'm not saying nothing. Because ignoring them will make them very upset, but it will make them leave them alone too, eventually. And eventually they'll, they'll look like the idiots. They'll look like the fools because how are you talking to somebody who's not even responding to you? How is someone harassing you? They're not even talking back to you. See, when you engage them, that's when they have a, a reason to be like, see, they, they were talking back to me. They're getting riled up. They're aggressive. <laughs> you can't be aggressive if you're not responding. <laughs>